Hi, everybody. I'm Eileen, one of the marine biologists and the aquatic husbandry manager here at That Fish Place at Pet Place, and welcome to TFP TV. Some of the most popular aquarium fish to enter the trade in the past few years have been the glowfish. These guys, for obvious reasons, are the biggest eye catchers that are available to freshwater aquarists, and they're also some of the simplest trays. Uh, you can get them in danios, tetras, barbs, even sh freshwater sharks are available now. One of the biggest misconceptions about glowfish is that they're dive fish. This is absolutely untrue. Fish that are actually dyed are dipped in a very caustic dye that changes their color or even tattooed, just like we might get if we wanted to get a tattoo on our arms or legs or shoulders. Glowfish are genetically altered. They have DNA from some corals that you might see glowing in saltwater tanks actually added to the embryos as they grow. That DNA actually becomes part of the fish and then it grows with them. When those fish go on to breed, that DNA is passed on to their offspring. So it's completely sustainable. It doesn't need to be done to every generation of fish. The original glowfish were found in the trade were the same fish known as zebra danios that are really popular both amongst aquarists and researchers. Their original use was actually pollution detection. When they were exposed to certain pollutants out in the wild, they would glow brighter in color. That soon translated into the aquarium trade. People realized that, hey, these fish that are helping us detect poisons and pollutants in the water actually look pretty good in our tanks. Since then, the Glowfish brand has grown to include Starfire Red, Sunburst Orange, Electric Green, Cosmic Blue, and Galactic Purple. Moonrise Pink was the latest color that they came out with. The Zebra Danios that were the first fish we're soon also joined by what we sell as white skirt tetras were genetically altered to produce the glow tetras. Those soon joined by albino tiger barbs, which are genetically modified to produce glow barbs. Now rainbow sharks have joined the family and we have galactic purple and sunburst orange glow sharks. The newest addition to the glowfish family are long fin glow tetras. These are the same as the glow tetras that we found originally, but just as the name suggests, they have longer fins. So they have a little fancier, a little more, you know, little more flowy look to them. Thanks for joining us here on TFP TV. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to our future videos. And if there's any videos you want to see in the future, make sure you let us know in the comments. Thanks and see you next time.